hello everyone so next topic is stack organization so you have studied about stack in your data structure and how this is useful uh, that we'll see mm -hmm. and what is the internal structure of that stack so it's a last in first out and what we have we have a stack pointer and this is a one kind of register that holds the address for the stack and that sp points at the top item in stack <clears throat> there are two operation push and pop so basically what it does it writes some um, data into memory location and pop means it will retrieve that data from the memory location right and which memory location pointed by stack pointer so a stack can be placed in a portion of large memory or it can be organized as a collection of finite number of memory words or registers some portion of your main memory you can uh, designate as a stack or you can collect a finite number of words then you can form a stack or collect some of the registers and then you can form a stack so these are the different ways you can construct a stack in your hardware mm -hmm. now let's see the register uh, stack organization and now we have 64 word register stack right so starting from 0 to 63 total 64 words are there now this is a stack pointer register we have a full and empty uh, you can consider register it is basically one bit register or flip-flop and we have a dr this data registers right from this dr when it is a push operation the data will be stored into stack when it is a pop operation the data will be retrieved from stack to data register okay <clears throat> address is 0 to 63 so total 64 words are there so for address how many bits are required so 6 bits are required right and what sp does it stores the top element right address of top element of the stack so it will hold this address it will hold this address right and this is six bit address so your sp this is a six bits okay now <clears throat> how the operation will be carried out so initial sp will be here right then we have inserted a then b then c so now right now the sp value is this three okay the address of top value now it will increment so it will go here 63 so what is the address of 63 one 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 now when you increment it when you increment it the result will be the result will be one and six times uh, one and six times zero right and we have only six bits so it will store last six bit that is zero 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 it means it will point to this it will point to this right when you decrement from zero when you decrement from zero as it will take a carry right what it will do when you decrement from it it will be all ones so six bits will be all ones when you decrement it okay when full is equal to one this means your stack is full means in stack all the spaces are occupied when empty is one means stack is empty and dr is the data register that holds the binary data to be written into or read out of the stack 
Now initially, initially your SP is zero. Your SP is zero means here initially empty is one means stack is empty now and full is zero. Now as you insert the item, suppose now you are want to insert A. So your SP will increment first, then it will insert the item. Okay. And insert the item means it will take the data from DR register and put into your A. Okay. Then again increment it. Same way it will do it. The last element, the last element will be stored at address 0. Because see, initially this is the value of SP. SP here empty is 1 and full is 0. Now what we will do? First it will perform the increment operation and then put the value so in that case it will increment and put the value so that first value will be here right so this way it will insert the value and at the end after 60 once it place the item here the next increment will be this so last item will be here and at that time it will mark full equal to 1 let's see the push operation insert a new item if stack is not full, right, means full is equal to zero. Stack is not full. A new item can be inserted with this push operation. These are the micro operation, right? These are the micro operation which can be performed at the same time. Atomic operation. So first it will increment the SP, right? Then the data from dr register so now the data from dr will be placed at memory location and at the address of sp right then if sp is equal to zero means the last place right if sp is zero now then means it is pointing to the address zero then your stack is full in that case you will make full is equal to one right <clears throat> and empty zero and empty zero right. so means if it is pointing here right afterwards means your stack is full First item stored in the stack is at address 1, as I had told you, and the last item stored in stack is at address 0, right? The stack organization that I have shown you that is 64 words stack organization. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to delete the item, the item is deleted from the stack if the stack is not empty, means if empty is equal to 0, okay? So first, what you need to take from that particular place, just take the value from into the yeah, data register. We are not deleting actually; we are just taking the value, right? And then we will decrement the SP. When you decrement the SP, right, it will go from uh, it will decrement the value, and if it is value is zero, then the value will be all one. Now, if SP is zero. Then after decrement operation, if SP is zero, then empty is one. In increment, if SP is equal to SP is equal to zero means full. In decrement, if SP is equal, then empty. Okay, and we'll set the empty is equal to one and will equal to zero. Means your initial case, the initialization of your stack. <laughs> An erroneous operation will result if the stack is pushed when full is equal to 1 or popped when empty is equal to 1. So this operation you need to take care and program in your stack. Okay. Now memory stack. The stack version that we have seen it is 64 bit uh, 64 words stack now let's see the memory stack this is the memory stack and this is your memory that is divided in three portion right segment this program data and stack program 
data and stack portion right so what program uh, portion has or segment has so program mm. counter points the address of the next instruction in the program so we have program uh, program uh, program segment right in that we have a program counter which points to the next instruction in the program i mean data segment we have a address register address register so it points an array of data from which we can get the operands and we have a stack segment this is a stack segment it points at the top of the stack right which we can use at the time of calling the process or executing some arithmetic operation or equation at that time you can use this now this program counter used during the fetch phase of to read an instruction once you read the instruction then used yeah ar is used during the execute phase because at that time you require operands okay and this sp that is used to push or pop items into or from the stack and that data will be here the thing that is more uh, appropriate is the three registers are connected to a common address bus means this pc ar and sp that is connected to common bus means at a time only one address you can float into address bus and either can provide address for memory at the time only one address can be put to common bus okay and that address you know, of memory can be given so this is a memory stack obviously that is a 64 words so if you see this stack the portion is 3000 and to 4001 this portion memory portion is designated as stack okay so in this if you want to perform the push operation then how to perform push operation you can see it is actually decrement the address so sp is equal to sp minus one and then from dr it plays the address means it is growing like this right so initially it is 4001 then it will decrement and put the content from dr to this place right. decrementing in previous case here we had a zero and we had a uh, 60 so we were incrementing for push operation here for push operation we are decrementing right so this depends on your stack organization right. how you have designated your stack and how you are using that stack then for pop first from top of the stack pointer right it will give you the address and then from that memory location take the value into dr register the data register and then increment the sp increment the sp right so the stack limits can be checked using two processor register one is for upper limit that is 3000 and another to hold the lower limit that is 4001 and cpu can refer to memory without having to specify an address since the address is always available and automatically updated in sp so every time if i need to use stack just i need to look into this stack pointer and that is already available that is already available in your registers right <clears throat> this we will see in the next lecture